friends, we are back with more Real Littles backpacks. However, however, this time they have a new collection with none other than the candy company Haribo. For those of you who don't know, Haribo, I, I don't know if I'm saying it wrong, but if, if for those of you who want to say, But Jakey, you're saying it wrong. Ah, it's possible. I'm leaving myself open to be educated. If you want to educate me, educate me in the comment section. Haribo is a gummy company. They make a lot of different kinds of gummy packets, whether it's the... the, the Flat licorice is the word I was looking for gummy bears, and all sorts of other different candies as you can see on the screen. More often than not, I've seen this brand at the dollar store and they're really good. So I'm not complaining, I do like them myself. It's not like I have distinguished the taste buds. Oh, look at me. Oh, this candy is of exquisite flavor. Look at it. It has tones and hints of rosemary infused with cold brew coffee. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, these real little backpacks Haribo collection are really hard to find. I mean, really hard to find. Thankfully, one of you grains sent me a link from US Amazon, and then I sent it to my friend Ace of Clay in the US, and then Ace of Clay sent it to me. You would think we're moving something else, but no, we're moving toys. And as you can see here on the desk, we have two of the Real Littles Haribo backpacks. We also have some gummy toys. I don't know if they're supposed to be fidget toys or gummies or if they're even scented. And yes, there's one ominous character here. Apparently a cola scented plushie. I don't know if it's true. I didn't sniff it. I just picked it up, put it away, and I'm like, I'm gonna try it. But, 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 but. If we look at the Moose Toys, which is the company that makes the Real Littles, there are four different backpacks. Never seen them. I can't find those anywhere. If anyone knows where to find them, I need them. So we have the gummy bear, which is really cute. And then we have the cola version. Again, really cute. I am really happy with these two. There are two others, the cherry kind of looking one. And then we have a gummy bear looking one with mini gummy bears, which looks really cool in itself because I feel like the gummy bears are probably charms. So we're going to find this out together. According to this picture, it seems like they are very customized, kind of like the Real Littles Disney backpacks. And for those of you who don't know Real Littles, basically they're miniature version of cute little stationary supplies that you can actually use. We've done everything from Real Littles Disney, Real Littles Lockers, Real Littles Luggage, a little bit of everything. Let me know in the comment section below, which one of these do you think is going to be absolute trash? I have a feeling these toy gummies are probably not going to be great. You know what? Maybe the plushie. I guess we'll find out. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there. Otherwise, this thing... We'll wave it at you. And so let's go ahead and just move everything. This there. And let's start with Haribo Cola. I hope I'm not annoying many of you with the way I'm saying it. Just think of it as, you know how we Canadians say Z instead of Z? And you're like, what's Z? Who's Z? Is this the letter? It's probably because of French. We call it Z, so that's why. And our first look, oh my god, that looks so sparkly. It is really pretty, very white. That means you will destroy it if you're messy. And it even has a custom charm already attached. What? Normally the charms come on the inside of the bag, but this time they actually put the charms on the outside? Cute, very nice branding. I really love this. And then it says we can find six different surprises. However, we can get anything from postcards and stamps. We can, oh, what? A limited edition gold bear charm? Leave in the comment section below if you think we're gonna get any of the limited editions because we've spent hundreds of dollars. I'm not even joking. And we've never gotten a single limited edition from the Real Littles, but I would love this. We only have two. Let's see how lucky we are if we actually do get any of the, oh, this one too. Let's, let's see if we're lucky enough to get the gold charm. We can also get a custom ruler, some stickers, a pencil case, and a pen. Is that a cola gummy? That is a cola gummy. So it's really just cola themed stuff. This is exciting. This is very exciting. Oh, I hope we get all the cool stuff. But in order to know, let's see what we get inside. Now, since this is a white bag on a white background, let's take out our felt, our trusty little felt that has been with us through many things. Watch my felt. I'm trying. Watch my felt. I do. You shot the best. 
Oh my god, look at this cola and the gradient. It looks super sparkly, but it is not a scratchy kind of glitter. Look, it is soft. <gasps> Cola gummy happens to be Pat's favorite kind of gummy. I like it, but I like the, the, the blue sharks with the white bellies. Those are my favorite. Do you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I'm asking so many questions and I love reading your comments. And then the rest of the bag is fairly plain for this one. All we get is the cola at the front. We have the charm. Oh, what the heck? The shrimp. So the charm is stuck to the bag? What? All right, let's get you there very nice so we already have the charm that is not a surprise it says we're supposed to get six surprises don't disappoint me please very nice zipper oh my god that is a sturdy zipper very smooth and sturdy i like that first thing oh gosh i feel it all I, i'm feeling things okay let's just pull things out we have oh my gosh yes we have a pen with the colas at the bottom. Is it me or they kind of look like fingers? It was only at this moment that I realized the cola pen is different from the cola pen on their website. Something ain't matching here. From far. Do they not look like little fingers? They do. So the design itself is basically the colas at the bottom and little fizzy bubbles going towards the tip. Here it is, like us all. So they're upside down colas. Is it scented? <laughs> no. And let us do a quick writing test. Focus camera, please. Okay, so we have a purple ink, very juicy. I like that. And these pens are great to keep on you because they don't take much space. Next, we have, ooh, the pencil case. That is adorable. We have the mascot with the colas, kind of a Ziploc mechanism to open it. And more often than not, now, in the past, it did work. I don't know if it will this time. The pens should fit and it's barely, oh gosh, we made it. <laughs> It made it in there. Look at you. Good job. We're proud of you. You made it. Are you scented? No. <coughs> <coughs> smells like plastic. Don't take a strong whiff, but it is adorable. Very, very cute. I really like this. The designs and the colors are very vibrant. They really do remind me of the Disney ones. Next, you are a ruler. Again, with the little Haribo <laughs> fingers. They look like fingers. Maybe if the tops were removed, right? You can't unsee. Look, do these not look like fingers with the fingernails? You can't unsee now. If I was cursed with the vision, then you shall too. And I don't quite see the numbers. Oh, I see them now. Okay, okay, it is really hard to see. It's also in centimeter. Oh, it does have an inch side. Okay, let me show you. So normally using it like this, you can't see anything, but when you move it that way, you can see the number here. I'm gonna point an arrow, you'll see a one. And then you'll see an arrow over here on the two. It's really, really hard to see there. And on the other side, we do have the centimeters. Let's see if I can, there, you see some numbers? There they are. I really wish they used a different color or maybe the background or maybe made a deeper indent, but the, the numbers really make it so hard that it's not functional. So you'd have to make some adjustments. Next, oh, the postcards, hang on. If we have postcards, that means we have stamps. So we have a Haribo postcard with the cola. This bear just seems very anemic. Reminds me of me. You need to take some iron pills. Your, your diet can't just be gummies, okay? But why? I love gummies. But you can't. Look how yellow you are. You need some iron. Get some spinach. Okay, fine. I'll try. I'm proud of you. And the back really does... <gasps> Look at the little detail. The bear is here again. And we have place stamp. These are good details. So far, this one really reminds me... I'm going to try and find another postcard. I'm going to feel around for something square. I don't feel anything square. But I do feel this. Oh, the clasp. Okay, so here we have the clasp, and it's a red color. I like this. I like this a lot. So it adds an extra bit of color dimension. So like the cola bottle, right? Cola bottle is red, right? I think. I think so. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it reminds me a lot of the Disney ones, and I'm getting really excited. What is this? There's like a lot of... Hang on. Another postcard. Okay. Aww, these are adorable. Oh my gosh. You know, Haribo, if you made life-size version of postcards, I would buy them. I kind of collect postcards. So these are absolutely adorable. Again, with the detail of the bear and we have where you can write the note and the stamps and the address. So we do have our both, our both. Wow, English. Good job, Jackie. English number one. <laughs> our two postcards. And we have a batch here. I think I'm gonna just pull this batch. <gasps> are these stickers? Oh my 
my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Let's look at the holographic one. Holy shrimp. We have a super holographic bear Haribo. So the Haribo is its own sticker and the bear also is its own sticker. And if you wanted to, you can cut miniature shapes out of all the excess over here, which they could have done, to be honest. They could have made mini cola bottles. Next we have, oh, look at that. Also holographic, holy shrimp. Holy moly, they do have the cola bottles. They could have made them smaller and added them around the bear because we do have some empty space here. It's a waste of sticker space, but that is adorable. Moose toys, please hire me as a consultant. I promise I got good ideas. I have collab ideas that you could do. So here we go, super, super, super holographic. I love these. And the holographic is very tiny. Like the speckles are very tiny. So they do rainbow quite a bit. Look at that. What else do we have? Is that it? I feel that I know we should be getting stamps. There they are. So here we go. The stamps <laughs> are at the bottom. They're kind of hard to get. There's one stamp. There. And two stamps. What do we have? Oh, these stamps are not as pretty. Oh, never mind. I take that back. I judged too quickly. I was like, oh, usually the stamps are ridged, but they actually are. So you can see that when you remove the sticker stamp, they do have the ridges all... Oh my gosh. They have the ridges all the way around. My camera's struggling because these are tiny. They'd be really tiny. They have the bear again and the cola. Just to give you an idea, here's my thumb nail, and they're basically that size. So you can look at your thumbnail and have an idea of how small they are. And here is everything that we got in the cola backpack of the Haribo Real Littles backpack. I have to say this experience is way better than what we've had previously. Probably one of the better ones because they're kind of similar to the Disney ones. So I'm going to give this one uh, an 8 on 10. If it were scented, that would have been different. Wait, did we actually get six surprises? One, two, three, four, five. And I'm guessing the clasp is the sixth one. Okay, sure. Oh no, I lied! We got the pens, the, the, the pen! <laughs> we got the pen! I was wrong! I said it! I'm sorry for those of you who want to say, But Jackie, you're doing the wrong! I know! We do get six. Six surprises. Now that we've had a good experience, I think it's time to maybe get a little salty because we can't just be sweet. And let's check out these gummy toys, which were actually pretty pricey. Are you done riding in 40 degrees weather? So as I was saying, these were about six or seven dollars each. So I'm not sure if they're just gummies, if they're kind of fidgety, if they're going to be mochi-esque like a fidget toy, but I guess might as well start with the bear, our little anemic bear. And look, it opens like a candy too. All right, let's see. Please have a scent. That would be great. Oh gosh. What does it say actually? Yellow gold bear and blue dinosaur. Anything else? Collectible figures. Okay. All right. I think I got them all. Except the pineapple. Wait, what? No, I didn't get the pineapple. And they're actually sealed in, which gives me hope that they can actually be scented. Why else would you double seal them? Oh my gosh. Okay, you ready? Let's first take a whiff before we touch it. Why? These are supposed, I'm guessing gummies? Because you sell gummies. Why couldn't you add a scent? If you could make a scented plushie, which I haven't tried yet. I'm assuming it's not that complicated. It's double sealed. First you make me salty, and then you break them a heart, and you make them a cry. And you like these tears? You did this. Not me, you did this. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and touch them, please. Okay, yeah. They're kind of like gummy. They're soft, but definitely not a fidget toy. Definitely not. You can't really pull on them. You can tell that if you bend it the wrong way, it gonna snap, kind of like me. I'm not very flexible at this time. Although once upon a time, I was able to kick people in the head because I did martial arts. But that was before all the chronic conditions. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a big no on this. It is not fidgety. It's not scented. There's nothing interesting about it. Oh, hey, 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 whoa, 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 hey. This one is much softer and way more gummy-esque. We have the T-Rex. Still not that impressed. It is pretty flexible, but it would kind of be cool if you can use them as kind of like finger puppets, but obviously there's no space to do that. There's just booty, but the T-Rex could have been a good candidate, especially it's really cute and much more flexible. You're not going to break this unless you really twist it extra then you can, but not a great fidget toy. These really are just figurines and they, the bear don't even, do you stand, sir? Sir, Bruh. please, sir. Be exemplary and please stand. No, 
But T-Rex is exemplary. T-Rex, you are good. I love you. You are very good. I pat you on the head. Very nice. I like your purring. Introducing my newest craft kit ever, Super Not Another Craft Kit, packed with 23 arts and craft supplies, well over seven and a half pounds, and you get to make your own epic creature because you get a handmade mold made by me, and then you can cast it to make a character figure on four legs like this, in which you can customize it and turn it into epic characters like these ones. And as you can see, it takes any kind of skill level to have fun. But remember, this special collaboration with Smart Art is only available in limited quantities. You'll find the link in the description as well as in the pinned comment. If you want to see the full video unboxing of what's inside, I'll also link that down below. Let's just pull off the rest of the band-aids and go for these ones. This one here is the cola and green gummy bear. So, even as figurines. If it doesn't even stand alone, what's the point? If I'm going to collect these, look at that. If I'm going to collect you as a figurine for my shelf, you should at least stand on your own. Just saying, maybe it's my opinion, but I believe so. And over here, let's get you open. We have the gummy and the cola, and the answer is... <coughs> nope, definitely smells like plastic. Let's pull the gummy bear out. I'm gonna squeeze you. This one does feel good. It does. Is it a fidget toy? No, it doesn't have any kind of satisfactory feel to it, but it does feel nice. Do you sit? You do. Very nice, good for you. And it has a nice texture to it. It doesn't feel like a gummy, not like that Swedish fish fidget toy that I was playing with that felt really nice. There's so much potential here, Haribu. You have gummies. Why not make fidget toy gummies? And if you do make it, I'm not claiming that it is my idea. You would have to pay me royalties. <laughs> Next is the cola, which is also very flexible. Nothing too special about it. Oh, look at it. Hello there, you. Would you like to go to dinner <laughs> it's like this that's what it's doing and then it, it does this in case you didn't know what i was going for now you kind of do <laughs> so yeah these ones are pretty straightforward and they do stand on their own they do feel nice nothing special are they worth seven dollars no there's nothing special about them the only thing i would keep this for to be very honest is to make a mold out of it and then make resin things out of it that's the only reason i would keep this because it is a flat back so only have two more, so I might I might be able to make more. All right, what do you have? Here we have the orange and yellow gummies. Again, why give me different gummies if no, if they're just gonna smell like plastic? Same faces, right? Yeah, they feel exactly like the green one. Yeah, so same faces, it's basically the same mold, and they feel the same squishy gumminess. There's no texture to them, so they're not like a mochi, where they're slightly, you know, like, sticky, is the word I was looking for. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. I will definitely be making a mold of all these, because why not? Why not? But yeah, I would, I would rate these, <sighs> ah, I would say like a 2 or 3 on 10 max. Cool effort, but kind of useless. Now it is time to remove some of that salt from our tongue. Is it, there it is. Here's the salt. Let's move the salt away. There you go. And let's beat our next Haribu backpack. Oh my god, so colorful. This is the gummy version. You're so cute. Oh my god. We can get anything from a pen, more stickers, ruler, postcard, the bag charm, and the pencil case. Wait, did we get everything in the last one? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. We actually got everything. So what are the surprises? It says six surprises, but we got everything. What? So are we actually getting any kind- Why'd you fall? You saw nothing. So are we actually getting surprises or are we just getting everything that's shown in the back? Time to see what we get inside. Here it is. It is not good news. It is 
a hard case, which means there's probably going to be a baggie inside. I really love the experience of pulling the surprises from inside the bag as opposed to a bag inside the bag, because then they're usually pretty transparent. But look at that. We actually get a zipper, which is very, very different than they usually do. The back, the straps are also pink. We have the Haribo charm and the gummy is absolutely adorable. But let's go ahead. Oh, that was harder to open. Wait. Yep, as I thought. We have a baggie inside the bag, which is a pity. Is it even that transparent? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you could see that it is translucent. So it's not transparent, but it is translucent. You can see through, but not entirely. So that's too bad. Really too bad. Oh well. And again, since this is a white baggie, let's pull out our felt. I really hate this. And it's sealed. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just going to cut you open. Don't don't worry. <sighs> I'm sure the items on the inside are nice, but you know what? I think I really do have a heavy bias preference to the fake leather or cloth bags. Which is why I'm pretty sure I would have really liked the one that was with the gummies, but an actual cloth bag, as you saw at the beginning of the video. That one right there. Let me know which one do you prefer. All right, first thing we get is... Oh, this... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is a mess. Hang on. Okay, there we go. We have... is still adorable. <laughs> do we need the felt? I don't think we do. We have the gummies pen. And is this going to be a purple or pink ink? The answer is pink. And it is still pretty juicy. Usually with Real Littles, their pens work well. It's their highlighters that are an issue. Next, there's there's like some kind of mangled issue over here. Like something is bent. I feel like it's the pencil case. Let's just pull out the pencil case. Why? Why have such a cute pencil case? Look at it. It is absolutely adorable. Why have the pencil case be all scrunched up when clearly you've made enough and many bags for the pencil cases to be actually big enough? and not scrunched or bent or anything like that. So it kind of removes again from the surprise element experience. Not crazy about this, but I am crazy about this one. Here you can see the color gradient and we have the little gummy bears. These are not drawings. These are actual pictures of gummy bears. <laughs> and again with the Ziploc type opening and closing. They need to work sometimes on the small details. Next we have the clasp, which is also red. Okay. Now I'm curious if all of them have a red clasp. Here it is. You know what? I'm really curious. We can't tell. Really hard to tell, but okay. Next. Oh, look at you. You're actually together. What is... Oh, three. Wait. What? What? Oh, no, these are stickers. Hang on. We're gonna put the stickers away. We have the postcards. This one again, real the little gummies, tiny gummies over here. I really do like the white ones, but I don't know what flavor they are. Are they pineapple? It's like the Mr. Freeze. You know, this, this thing here. I think you call them freezies in the US. We call them Mr. Freeze. What do you call them in your country? But yeah, these ones here, I really like the white flavored ones. I think they're pineapple, but I could be wrong. And then the next one is the bear with a basket of bears. Aw, cute. So these are drawings of the actual gummy bears and these are actual pictures. So pictures, drawings. You can see the difference here. In the back, same thing. We have the detail of the mascot and the address slash stamp placement. Very cute. Next thing from our baggie inside the baggie, we do have the sticker. And this one's a little bit more plain. The first one we got was holographic. I mean, oh my God, it was so hollow. And this one is rainbow, which I really like. However, the rainbow doesn't extend into the actual sticker itself. We only get a white border which I understand because you don't want the gummies to be hidden within it, but then maybe put some other shapes within the rainbow gradient, perhaps. Like hearts don't need the borders, maybe. But yeah, they're okay. They're not the best stickers. I find the first bag was a way better experience, personally. Next, we have the... Oh, yes. I love this. See, the numbers are more visible already. You can already see the numbers versus the other one. Not so much on this side. Up here, it's really hard to see. Are they even there? Yes. So there's one, oh gosh, right here and two right here. But on the centimeter side, you can see them a lot more clearly right there. But this is a really cute ruler. And then we should have the stamps. There's one. Hello, stamp. Where are you? Hello, hello. One stamp? Oh, there it is, it fell down. 
We have two stamps. Again, we do have the ridges around to look like stamps. We have a Haribo bear and just kind of like a friendship selfie of four bears on this side. Really, really cute. Very tiny, but I do like them. And here's everything that we got in the bear Haribo backpack, which is exactly everything they showed us in the back of this. So there really aren't any surprises. You just get everything on the inside. And we didn't get the, um, we didn't get the limited edition. I never do. I never do. And I have to say the customization of this bag is absolutely wonderful. I'm still going to give this, oh gosh, I'm still going to give it an 8 on 10 and I'm going to bump the other one to a 9 on 10 because this one still has everything customized. It's just the bag is not great because you have to put a bag inside the bag. It's a personal preference, but the items are customized. It's just you don't get a surprise in there. Now, uh, am I a huge fan of plushies? The answer is... Yes, clearly. <laughs> so when I saw this Haribo Cola plushie scented, I was like, I need you because I like the smell of cola candies. And it clearly here says scented plush. Très parfumé. Mm, C'est très parfumé. C'est délicieux. <laughs> And then a bunch of stuff on the inside. Now, is it soft? Yeah, pretty soft. Is it good quality? Absolutely nice quality. And the embroidery, pretty cute. Now the question is, is not if this is cute, is if it smell good. And the answer is, there's a sweetness there for sure, but it's not cola-esque enough. I can smell the vanilla, but not as much as I would have hoped. So I would say on a smell scale, if 10 is like the actual thing, this might be a four. So if you're gonna get this, get this for it being the cute blushy and not for the smell. It's very faint, not the greatest of sniffs. So their actual products are not as great as their collaboration with Ray Littles is what I wanna say. If you want to watch more Ray Littles, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something like Fidget Toys, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.